Hello, um, I'm Valentin David. I work at Canonical, and uh, in my free time, I contribute to GNOME OS and Freedas APK. Today was supposed to be uh, Abdiarim here from Godthink, but uh, he could not join, unfortunately. Um, I will talk about uh, how we build uh, uh, an OS from uh, uh, a bottom up with a tool called Buildstream. The OS we build is GNOME OS. Uh, first, uh, what is Buildstream? Uh, Buildstream is, is a tool uh, to integrate software components. Um, so we have a lot of different piece of software that we want to put together and and, and build. Um, uh, and, uh, and 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 we describe some metadata that, that describe how to build everything. So uh, Buildstream uh, composes uh, build artifacts to build uh, container images, and then we will run these builds confined in those containers, so we can have a reproducible build. Uh, we can control exactly what are the dependencies of every build and make sure that it's always the same file system that we have. Uh, some interesting uh, things with BuildStream is that we have a room remote cache, so we can have a server where we push all the builds and if you try to build exactly the same thing, since it's reproducible, we just get the, the result directly, so it goes the faster. There is a feature that we don't use for GNOME OS, which is remote, remote builders. You can also uh, have a, a, a swarm of, of builders that can build different uh, uh, things in the same time. But you can also build lots of software on your machine in the same time with Bitstream, as long as you have enough memory. Uh, Buildstream is not uh, intended to target any spe specific format, so it's very generic. Uh, we want to be able to build any kind of of uh, output. So the reason we uh, we started to use Buildstream for GNOME is that uh, GNOME had three different uh, build tools. Uh, one was uh, GNOME Continuous to build an image that we could boot and do testing. The other one was GH build that is used mainly for development, so you could install GNOME components onto your machine from the source. And then there was Flatpak Builder that uh, was used to uh, build the Flatpak runtime. But since Buildstream is format agnostic, it could just generate all the three things. So we just have one, one repository for definition, and it explains how to build GNOME. Uh, this is an example of um, an element. So we have uh, in a, a built-in project, you have lots of files with extension.bst, and they describe uh, how to build each component. So for example, we have here a PyG object, which uses Mison uh, to build, uh, and, uh, and we describe the sources, and we also describe what are the dependencies. Uh, there are two types of depend dependencies here. The build dependencies is uh, 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 and, and the dependencies, everything will be uh, pulled into the build uh, container to build a PyG object. Uh, and if you build anything depending on PyG object, everything that is on the dependence part but not on the build dependence will also come in. Um, and of course, b because we want to produce a bold build, we have uh, the reference of which git uh, commit we want to use. But Bitstream is able to update those things so we can at any time say, give me the latest version of that uh, re repository and it will write in the element. Um, uh, there is few things when, when you come to building an, an OS that is a bit difficult with Bitstream, so you have to know about it. Is, uh, there is no extended attributes. So, for example, uh, setcap doesn't work. Uh, there is workarounds using uh, fake root, but it's not very nice. And in the case of GNOME OS, uh, uh, there is only a few binaries that we just use setuid instead of setcap instead of having to go through fake root. But maybe I hope this is will be fixed one day. Uh, another thing is that because it's a container and uh, there is no privilege. Uh, we can't uh, have loopback device or mount. Uh, uh, so uh, until recently, we could not use system dir part, but we will change that. We've been using GenImage, which uh, does kind of the thing that what uh, system report uh, does now. Uh, so that is using mcopy or passing MK to MKFS. 
uh, uh, programs the root of the file system the, to, to, copy, to copy in. Uh, the problem of having Jenny Mesh is that we also have, uh, we also use system report uh, at runtime, so that means that we have two descriptions of our of, of, of partition, so we won't only, only have one, so we'll move to system report. Uh, the other thing is that the secrets are not handled nicely uh, yet in, uh, in Buildstream, so you have to be careful not to upload your private key into a remote cache that you don't want. So uh, it's, you need to know how to use it, and maybe one day there will be a proper thing to make sure you don't do any mistakes. Um, yes, uh, GNOME OS and yeah, Fred So uh, the main, uh, GNOME OS, the main goal of it is uh, testing, and we want to build an image and run it and be able to test GNOME, uh, the whole GNOME experience. Uh, and uh, we use automated testing with, uh, testing with OpenQA, which is very nice um, uh, and, and can find differences in, based on screenshots about what changed in GNOME and make sure that we didn't break anything. Um, we also want to use GNOME OS for development, so we have tools like for debugging, for filing, diagnostic. We also have tools that like uh, uh, QME and Podman and things to be able to run whatever your own tool on it. Uh, and, and we want this because we want GNOME developers to be able to run that on their laptops and when it breaks, it breaks the machine so they are sure that they don't break GNOME. Uh, but it's also um, very important that we can run on both VM and hardware. We, uh, uh, the, uh, GNOME sometimes needs to to deal with some hardware, so, so, so like what do you do with, uh, with a, a, touch, a touchpad or, or, some, or something like that, there is some configuration that is needed that might not uh, be easy to do virtualization. So it's important for us to, to run on hardware for, for that uh, reason. Um, uh, we mainly target UEFI. We don't want to have any old stuff. Uh, there is no reason because we don't have uh, old users. So we don't want to have legacy. So we try to make the things clean. We also have some images, uh, experimental images uh, for phone tablets with different architectures. Um, but those are kind of experimental, they just to show that we can do it. Um, uh, we, we build GNOME OS from the bottom, so we rebuild everything. And we actually uh, have, uh, so here the rectangles are built stream projects. Uh, and on, on the top one, we have the binary, binary seed. The binary seed is there is a built-in project that uses uh, the script from boost, boost, bootstrap table to bootstrap table uh, to be able to reproduce a, a, a binary seed that we can use to uh, bootstrap free desktop SDK. So we know that we come from a seed that is trustable. Um, <coughs> This outputs uh, 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 an image which we use OCI there, but it could be anything. And then we re import it into the Free Desktop SDK project. Free Desktop SDK is mostly uh, here for uh, building a flat, type, uh, flat pack runtime, um, which is an OS3. <coughs> but we use it uh, also to, uh, we extend it with uh, GNOME build meta. So on top of Free Desktop SDK, we put all the elements of a GNOME build meta to make uh, the whole uh, GNOME uh, build. And in there, we have, as well as the Flatpak runtime for GNOME OS, for GNOME, uh, for GNOME we have uh, GNOME OS with different images um, <coughs> as output. And interestingly, our CI, because we have a lot of CI, we need some uh, container images to run all our, our builds. Those are also built on top of Free Desktop SDK. So we have a uh, different project, for Bluestream project that builds all our tooling. Um, so we just run Free Desktop SDK everywhere, uh, except on the bare metal of the servers. But uh, uh, it, it's, it's kind of a big project. I mean, it's not a huge distribution, but it's, it, we have, uh, on Free Desktop SDK, we have uh, around 600. 50 build elements and 270 on GNOME build meta. Uh, in total, to on the runtime at the runtime on the uh, GNOME OS, I think there is 650 uh, different 
elements okay that are there um, and 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 this is with a very small a small team so we started in 2017 um, by bootstrapping uh, free desktop SDK, uh, SDK and make the first uh, runtime and progressively uh, step by step we uh, ended up uh, making a distribution that could run on computers and I run it uh, even on this laptop here. Um, we use a lot of automations because we are a small team. Uh, we have a lot of CI. We have uh, 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 some update boards that look at the metadata and see what can be updated with the version. So we we we're looking at upstream. We have CVDA checks that look also at uh, the metadata from Buildstream and check that we have actually patched everything correctly uh, or updated to the right version. We have ABI checks. This is mostly for first uh, updates uh, Flatpak runtime. Um, we also have some automation for mirroring. This there is we are migrating to a new solution now, so that's not the best thing right now, but. We have all the, this kind of things to be able to to deal with this. Um, um, uh, we used to use OS3, and and uh, OS3 is like a Git for OS. So you can just you can have a commit that you deploy on a machine, and then you can uh, change to a, a different commit. Um, <coughs> the OS3 that we use uh, it's a system with uh, dependencies and the core application. Um, and uh, it integrates with GNOME software, which is nice. So you can just update with GNOME software. And, and with this, we have two trees. So there's a user tree, which is a simple thing that it is just GNOME, and then the development tree where we have extra tools. Uh, uh, for other things, we use Flatpak mostly. And there is also toolbox in the development tree, tree if you want to do, uh, do other things. Um, there, is, there were some problems with uh, OS3. First, uh, only type one uh, 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 bootloader spec was supported. Uh, we had to maintain a patch to support ESP because it was expecting uh, X4, but we need to be fat. Um, uh, there was no support for UKI. Um, it relies a lot on the kernel command line uh, to be set specifically. And, uh, and there's a lot of things that were not not working that we wanted. So we moved to systemd sysupdate. So since today, actually, this is the branch is merged, <coughs> but leave us on the side of OS3 uh, uh, implementation. Now we have a secured and uh, secure and measure root with full disk encryption. Um, <coughs> uh, and uh, yes. Uh, it just uh, we have a simple image that on the first boot will create all your partitions. Uh, uh, this is running on four computers, so that's 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 good. <laughs> but uh, it's been merged days ago. Um, <clears throat> what we use on it, we use a shim because we want to have the machine on owner keys. Uh, we we used to we have been always using systemd boot. We continue to use that. Now we can use UKI. I think our image before was a DDI, valid DDI, but I'm not that sure now. We are sure. We use systemd measure. We try, We still use uh, Dracut for the initial but maybe we'll change that. Um, <coughs> I think that we are lacking from uh, OS3 is that the slash etc, but we have been talking about it, so and, and I see that there will be solution coming. Um, switching trees from OS3 was very nice. Now we use sysx. The experience is not as good as switching because there's no reverts uh, that is easy. Uh, like if you apply a sysx that break your system, for example, well, you can revert to uh, uh, the previous version, but you might have broken both. Um, and also, we don't have the delta to download uh, the updates. So it's a bit annoying. Um, there is a, on the left hand side, uh, there is all the contributors of FreeDesktop SDK. On the right is uh, uh, Gnome Build Meta. And I would like to thank you, all these contributors. Um, <coughs> uh, and yes, these are all the pointers. You can look, find Buildstream and FreeDesktop SDK and Gnome OS. Yes, any question? Okay.